Yo, so if you guys are watching this video right now, you probably want to learn how to make an entrance to your theme park. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a somewhat advanced one. Now, I'm making this voiceover while I'm editing because I realized that there's a lot of things wrong with the way I explained a lot of things. So most of this tutorial will be in the two times time lapse. There will be a few points where I stop to explain a few things, but um, I just want to let you guys know before I started this video. All right, so sorry for the sudden change in darkness, but um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start building this. You want to go ahead to add to your prim primitive and go ahead and grab this piece right here so you want to make sure it's lined up with um the you know front of your park i'm building back here and i'm not going to keep this so i really do not care but you want to go ahead and place it at wherever you want it doesn't matter and you want to count one two three you want there to be two spaces in between here and that's where you're going to place your other piece now you're going to make these go up four so add one two three more to it and let's go up just three more so one two three one two three okay so once you got that you're gonna go in here and type clipper and uh you're gonna go ahead and grab the primitive slip sli cylinder clipper um i think it's, it's clipper i'm not exactly sure but uh you want to go ahead and place that right there and you're gonna go ahead and place the other one right over here now you want to go ahead and paint these quickly before you continue i'm painting them this color right over here because i think it looks very very nice um but we're going to go ahead and grab this and we're going to make it go out too. So just duplicate everything you did except um, one block further and put a block above this as well. So we're just going to go ahead and do this. Boom. And then you can go ahead and grab the clipper part and uh, just go ahead and add that right over here. So now you got this. It's looking pretty not good, obviously. So um, what you want to do to this now is go back and get your primitives. This one right over here. And uh, this is where you kind of want to use your disable collisions. So for our horizontal, we're going to go to half snapping. Actually, we'll go to fourth snapping. So you want to move one block out from that and go ahead and place that in. As you can see, so we're going to go back to here. We're going to go all the way to the corner and one block out just like that. And we'll go ahead and replicate that all the way throughout here. Then you can go ahead and grab this primitive edge thing. And uh, you could add it right over here, giving it a nice little overhang. I think that does not look bad at all. Let's go ahead and add that just like that. And then you can go ahead and add it throughout this whole area here. All right. And then you want to go ahead and grab this primitive cuboid. Um, as you can see, it's this one over here. Go a few to the right and you'll see this one right over here. And still with your force snapping on, let me go ahead and lock it over here. You want to go one spot back and place that on in. As you can see, it'll give this little effect. And you want to go through and just add one more layer of this. One second, my camera angle is very bad over here. But you want to go ahead and add one more layer of that, just like that. And this area that inside here is going to be blocked off. You won't even be able to see it. So what happens inside doesn't matter. Uh, you can go ahead and put inside whatever you want. But that's all you're going to need. Then to top it off, we're just going to go in here again, still with the force snapping on. That's pretty much it for that part. So we are going to add a few more details. And then we're going to add a little extension to the side here. Um, and we're going to kind of spice the whole thing up. Right, so the next step is place two primitives right over here you want to place one that's over here and um one second and another that is right over here and if you guys don't know how to do the perfect circle trick um this is going to be very hard for you and i won't be able to help you with this because this video is probably already too long so i'm going to go ahead and change my grid up a little bit i'm going to change this to um 11.25 and we're going to go ahead and once we're over here one away we're gonna go ahead and click there we're gonna go ahead and do one more after that and one more right over there and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same right over here give it two spots and give it another two spots there we're actually gonna give it one more give it another extra two on the sides there but uh yeah once you're done with that that's all good you can go ahead and delete this now you don't need that anymore 
but it kind of gives you an idea of um, the kind of design I'm trying to go for here. So as you guys can see, I'm just going ahead and rotating here and placing my extra second one onto the top of each of these. And you want to go ahead and do this. And once you're done with that part, you're going to go ahead and head back and um, do the same for the last layer over here just like this okay so once you're all done with that still keep this up here because trust me you will still need it at some point probably but um now we're gonna head back to our primitives here and i think it'd be cool to have a nice little circle on top of each of these i think that'd be a nice little feature or something else i mean it's really anything that you want you guys do you i'm gonna go ahead and add a circle on mine though so let me go ahead and place this right in the middle there remember anything that you want to place on all these you have to place in the middle but um let me go ahead and place mine right over here and we can go ahead and uh, do the same with these circles Alrighty, so once you have these pillars done what you want to go ahead and do is grab the main color we've been using oh wait never mind that's the wrong color uh this was the main color we've been using all right so you want to grab the main color we've been using and color all the pillars that specific color it's gonna look really really nice just like this and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab the darker color for the balls that are going to be on the top just like that all right so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab this primitive cuboid right here and you want to place it right over here um with the um one fourth snapping on horizontal fourth snapping on vertical and default on rotation and um once you one second if i can get out of this once you do that and you just place it the only option will be right off in front just like that so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and do the same thing right over here and you want to do the same rotating thing again you want to hold shift there middle mouse button right there and go ahead and rotate this all the way around except this time you're gonna head and you're gonna go ahead and do something different so you want to go to your rotations right over here and you want to move the move snapping or i think it's actually rotation you want to change the rotation to um we'll go ahead and do five degrees let's go ahead and do one degree and you want to go ahead and do it by each single one so we're going to go ahead and place ours right there uh since we're going through here and you just want to place it one by one it is a bit tedious i know but the end result is going to be very nice. You could just spam it if you do have a lot of money and it won't really matter. But um, yeah, you just want to go ahead through here and you want to stop all the way at this end right here. You might want to still keep this here because there's going to be some small details that you might want to add. But this part right here, we're going to paint a little variant of all these colors that we've been using. We're going to paint it this. All right, so this is a part where you kind of go free. You can go ahead and add windows everywhere. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do in this quick time lapse. It's optional, but you can go ahead and watch this. All right, guys, and the park is fully complete. This is what we got right here. Quick tour of it. We have these nice lights up here, and uh, I personally think it's very nice. I still got this primitive in the way, but that's it for today's video. I really did hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I'm Lex Voice. Thanks for watching.